Hi everybody, Mr. Vigliotti asked me to uh, make a little video for all you guys and girls about uh, Soldiers in the War of 1812 and that's why I'm here standing here in this crazy get up. So um, the War of 1812, if you don't know, if you guys haven't learned about it in class already, uh, it started in June of 1812 when the United States declared war on Great Britain. Uh, the initial cause was uh, impressment of sailors into the British Navy, meaning the British were just literally pulling up next to our ships in the high seas and stealing our uh, sailors off our boats and using them in their own navy uh, to fight against Napoleon, which uh, was not very nice of them. Uh, there was also the underlying cause of Western states and folks in Western states wanting to move further west on uh, lands that were occupied by Native Americans. Uh, and they were looking for any excuse they could to enroach upon those lands. So. War started in June of 1812 and it lasted almost three years. The last uh, official battle um, happening in January of 1815 in New Orleans, which actually happened about a week and a half after the peace treaty in Ghent, Belgium, was signed. News traveled slow back in those days. And there were still sporadic little fights happening throughout the world. The last shot being fired ever was in June of 1815, almost five no, six months after the war officially was over with. Uh, so, again, an interesting little conflict in American history, um, a very violent conflict in American history, and a lot of it happened right around New York State. Um, Sackett's Harbor, which is close to where you folks are, was a huge naval base during the war. In fact, it was the third largest settlement in New York State during that time period, uh, second to Albany and New York City. And obviously there it was a huge target because of this, and the British came to Sackett's Harbor twice uh, and attempted to attack it. The first time was in the summer of 1812, and it was essentially just a cannon, uh, cannon duel. And the second time was in 1813, which was an actual amphibious assault. And uh, luckily, the British showed up one day but the weather was too bad and they uh, were the troops were actually recalled back into their boats which gave us Americans ample time to prepare and the next day when they actually carried out their assault we were able to push them back however due to an error in uh, communication we uh, thought they were winning and actually set fire to a couple of our ships that were in construction luckily we got those fires taken care of and put out uh, anyways let's move on to the uniform so the uniform I'm wearing, this is, uh, I'm essentially a gunner uh, or a private of the uh, 3rd United States Artillery Regiment. You can see that on the cap badge here. There's a nice big cannon. Um, this hat is called a Shaco. Uh, it is what everyone was wearing back during the uh, early 1800s. Uh, French troops, British troops, German troops, well, Prussian troops I should say, uh, Belgians. Dutch, uh, if you were anyone who was anyone in the military, you were probably wearing a Shaco. Uh, it gives you the impression that you're a lot taller than you are. It was supposed to intimidate the enemy. Um, there were a couple different types of these. Some were made out of felt. This is made out of felt. Some were made out of leather. Uh, and it's kind of like putting an oven on top of your head on a 90 degree day. Uh, if you ever want to know what heat is like and what heat stroke can be like, uh, these gentlemen in the, that fought in the war, they uh, a lot of times they suffered from it. Um, so again, the cap plate is identification. If you're on the field of battle and you're an officer and you're trying to figure out who's who, you just come up to a guy and you look at his cap plate and if you see a cannon on there, you know he's artillery. Um, also the gold fringe was the color of the artillery and the white cockade uh, denoted that it was essentially artillery of a large caliber, guys that were handling large cannons, uh, not light artillery. Um, also notice, I don't have a cannon anywhere in these woods. There's no cannon for miles. In fact, the United States was so woefully unprepared for the War of 1812 that only two out of the ten artillery regiments at the time actually had cannons. Uh, now the third artillery, they did have guns, but again, they did not have enough for everyone in the regiment. So, uh, a lot of times, the, the men in the regiment would serve as infantry, uh, and they would be armed with a musket. And this particular musket is a 